Good morning. Good morning. Today is, I have to check the date, it is June 15th. And this is the first group coaching in the You Have the Power program community. I'm really excited because it is the very first of many. So welcome to the You Have the Power program community group coaching. Again, today's June 15th and it is our very first group coaching in this community. So I'm excited and I want to thank you for being a part of the program. I'm excited about the program. I'm excited about the journey that you have chosen to embark upon. And again, this is just the beginning. So I am looking forward to being your coach. I'm looking forward to being with you on your journey. And I am grateful to have you in the community. So again, welcome. This is the first. And remember, every third Saturday at 9 o'clock a.m., I will be here in the group doing group coaching. Um, and a couple of things I just want to uh, share with you right up front before we get into it. If there's ever anything specifically you want coaching on, make sure you just send me an email. I will make sure when I... Um, post and I'll make sure when I go back and look that the email address is right here in the group. Because this program is really all about you and helping you through, helping you work through what it is that's important to you and what it is that you desire. Now, if you miss the group coaching, if you're not available on Saturdays, I will drop it in the portal on Thick of Things so that it will be there. So you can always go back and listen to it whenever you want to. And all of the group coaching will be in the portal. So Kathy, you've joined me. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started. I thought today, because it's the very first group coaching, that we talk about preparation. And I thought about preparation from the perspective of preparing to run a long distance marathon. Now, I've never ran a marathon. I've never run a marathon. Have you ever run a long distance marathon? So let's talk about the preparation from that perspective because if you want to make changes in your life, then you have to be prepared to go the distance. And you've obviously made the decision to do so because otherwise you wouldn't be part of this program. So initially you had the desire, you had the desire to do something. And it's just like running the marathon. You had the desire to run the marathon. And you might've thought about it for a while. You may not have made the decision to do so immediately. Because knowing that to run a marathon, it takes hard work. So first you had the desire to do so. And then at some point, you made the decision, I am going to run this marathon. And then once you made the decision, you had to prepare for it. And it's the same thing. Once you decide to make changes in your life, you have to prepare for it. So now the decision is made to run this marathon, first and foremost, you have to believe you can do it. Because if you didn't believe you could run this marathon and complete it, you probably wouldn't have even signed up for it. So that's first and foremost, your mindset. And your mindset is so important. Because when you start to run that marathon, although you've made the, decisions to, the decision to do so, it does not mean there won't be challenges. So you'll commit it, you believe you can do it, and now you start to prepare for it. And the preparation is mental, 
and physical. The mental piece is knowing that you can do it. Now you have to prepare physically also. So you train, you exercise, you start off running slowly, right? You have to make sure you have the right clothes, you know, shoes, nutrition. And a lot of folks will join a support group, a runner's group, so that they're not doing it alone. And some people will hire a coach. And that's how they prepare to run the marathon. Same thing as life. When you get ready to make changes, you have to prepare. Now, when you're running that marathon, it's marathon day. You've decided. You're ready. You made the decision. You did the preparation. It is marathon day. And you're out there and you're running. And some runners will hit what they call a wall. And that wall is when you're running, all of a sudden, your legs get heavy. You start to slow down. You get thirsty. And that voice is in your head saying, this is impossible. You are never going to make it through. And you're trying to hold on. And you're thinking, if I can just get to a certain point, then I can do it. So if you're running, for instance, a 26-mile marathon, and you're thinking, if I can get to that 20th mile, I can do it. So you start looking out amongst the crowd, and you start Stop focusing on what's going on in your head, those negative thoughts, thinking that it's impossible because those emotions are kicking in and they're strong and you're struggling. So that stride that you had when you were running, when you first started all of a sudden, and now you're shuffling and you can barely make it. So you start looking around for the crowd because that's your support group now and they're cheering you on. So you start to feel a little bit better. And maybe you have a coach. And maybe that coach jumps in right there when you're about to give up and just run with you just for, just for a mile, just to keep you encouraged so that you can keep going. And you take it all in. And before you know it, you're at that 20th mile. And now what you thought was impossible because that little voice is telling you you can't do it, all of a sudden it becomes possible. So that feeling of being overwhelmed, because that's how you were feeling. The emotions had kicked in, you were feeling overwhelmed, and you were questioning yourself, why am I doing this? You were questioning yourself, am I going to be able to complete this marathon? You are questioning yourself, is it worth it? And all of a sudden, with all those negative thoughts and that feeling of being overwhelmed and all of those emotions, you go deep down and you go back to the place where you started, believing that you could run that marathon. And all of a sudden, even though your throat is dry, your legs are heavy, it feels like weight is holding them down, you start to feel a little lighter. And you're fighting. You're fighting. But you keep going. And eventually, you hit the 20 miles. Now you're starting to feel a little bit more confident and you keep going. And before you know it, you've hit another milestone and another milestone and another milestone. And before you know it, you can breathe. Whew. You made it. You made it over the hump because now you can see the finish line. So you know you got this. So I want to talk about that in the sense of being prepared to run your race. Because to make changes in your life is just like a marathon. It's not a sprint. And it begins with making the decision that you want to make changes in your life. 
and believing you can do it. Because if you don't believe you can do it, then you're not going to be able to do it. And you have to prepare because if you don't prepare, it could cause you to fail. So you have to prepare because it's just like running a marathon. As you move out and move forward and continue on with your life, the emotions show up. So first and foremost, you have to prepare your mind and you have to know that in order to make changes in your life, you have to be brave and courageous. Know that about yourself. You have to be brave and courageous to even to make the decision to do so because everybody is not going to be cheering you on. And it could be your surroundings too. Your surroundings may not be positive to the point where it's going to be a good feeling or you may not have the support to do what it is that you truly want to. So it takes bravery and courage. And that's why so many people live a life of status quo. They want to make changes in their lives, but they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe they can do it. And they don't have the courage to step out. So the fact is that you're here and you're listening and you're part of this program, you've already made the decision. So I salute you on your courage and I salute you on your bravery. And I salute you for starting this journey. So let's talk about preparing to run this race. Know that there are going to be days that are going to be emotional. There will be days when you will want to quit. There will be days you'll ask yourself why. And there will be days you just, just, you just want to shut down. But it begins with face, facing your emotions first and foremost. Be conscious of your doubt. Be conscious of your fears. And make sure you keep your mind engaged. Because your mind is active all the time. My minds don't shut down. It's active all the time. So make sure you keep your mind engaged in the process of moving forward. And that's being conscious of your thoughts. Because what you have to do is prepare your mind for the journey. So when you start out, it may be a little bit more challenging because now you have to prepare your mind. This is the course that we're taking. And that means positive thoughts. That means being intentional. That means being on purpose. And you have to train your mind. And it still doesn't mean there won't be difficult days, but it's like anything else. The more you train your mind, the stronger you become and your mind becomes that, that point of alignment that you need. So the negative thoughts will, will occur less. So you really have to be conscious of your thoughts because that's where it begins. You have to believe, you have to trust, you have to do the work, you have to be intentional, you have to be on purpose. And a key component as well, you have to surround yourself with people who believe in you. And that's why sometimes a runner will get a coach or a runner will start, will join a support group. Because although you know you want to make changes in your life, although you are prepared to go forward, there'll be days that little saboteur, that little negative voice in your head will be, will try to overpower you 
and there will be days it may be overwhelming just like that runner who is trying and, and, and determined to keep going there are moments during that run where it becomes overwhelming so it's important to, for you to surround yourself with positive people who believe in you even to the point they believe in you until you get to the point where you believe in yourself. Even though when you start this journey, you want to make changes in your life, you believe you can do it, but there are going to be times just because you're human, just because you're emotional, you know, you get weary, you get tired, and then you, you know, you start to, your emotions go like this. So that's when you have the people, the support, who believes in you, who will there be, be there cheering you on, just like those, um, uh, people, volunteers, and spectators doing the, uh, you know, when you're running that marathon, they're, they're along the course and they're cheering you on. You have to have the type of support because it can be difficult. Every day is not going to be one of those days where I got it, I got it. There are going to be days when you're weary and you're tired and you're going, you may feel like you want to give up. So that's why it's so important. The other thing, too, and be conscious of this, everybody is not going to be for you to make changes in your life. So you have to protect it. Be conscious of the people you talk to and how they react to you. So if you have someone that when you start talking about making changes in your life and they shut down, turn their back, don't want to be part of it, that's when you have to protect it. You protect your vision. You protect your dream. Because everybody is not going to be there cheering you on. And that's so important, too, because sometimes what will happen, we'll get discouraged. And there's a difference between being discouraged and being disappointed. You can be disappointed. But when you get discouraged, you stop believing in yourself. So be conscious of that. When you get discouraged, you stop believing. Your confidence starts to go down. To be disappointed, it's okay. So keep that in mind. Everyone's not going to be for you. Protect if you have to. Surround yourself with positive people, people who believe in you, people that you feel that you can trust. And on those days when you need some support, you can call them. And they'll say, girl, you got this because I'm here cheering for you. I got you today. Some days they may have to hold you up because, again, it's not a straight path. Once you start to make changes in your life, it is not a straight path. You have to work your plan. You have to be intentional. You have to be on purpose. And you have to be prepared to stay the course. And that's why I wanted to talk about preparation today, making sure you are prepared, your mind is prepared, and being conscious that there are going to be times when you're really going to have to buckle down. There are going to be times when you question, you doubt, just like that runner who starts to feel overwhelming. The legs get heavy, but you keep going. So are you prepared to run the marathon? Are you really prepared to go the distance? And that's the question I have for you today. Are you ready? to nurture yourself? Are you ready to be intentional and on purpose every single day? Getting up every single morning, expecting to achieve what it is you desire. Get up every single morning with an unstoppable attitude. Even when things don't go your way, because there are going to be days when things don't go your way. There are going to be days when it seems like the universe is against you. 
So are you prepared to be unstoppable? Are you prepared to endure? Because there are going to be times, again, when it seems like everything is against you. And that's when you have to buckle down, you have to endure, you have to embrace. Because whatever it is, you can learn from it. And that's so important too, is believing and maintaining a positive attitude. I don't care when it seems negative. Think about it, turn it into a positive. Because what happens is you don't want to get caught up in a negative cycle because then when you do, you find yourself just starting to go down that negative path and then before you know it, you're questioning, can I do this? So just write the word preparation. Just write that down. The preparation. And then under that, put mindset. Conscious of your thoughts. Believe. And under that, right, I am brave and courageous. And under that, I have a plan. Because you have the power program is your plan. That's your strategy. That's your plan to move forward. So I asked the question again, are you ready to run the marathon? If you're ready to run this marathon, and if you do the work, you follow through. That's so important too. You have to follow through. Then you can create the life you want. And in this group, if you need help, ask for help. If there's something that you want or need to be coached or talked about in this group, then ask. Because this is your journey. Only you know what you need to run the marathon. You have the strategy, you have the plan. But if there's anything you need to help you stay on point, then you have to be able to ask. That's your responsibility. That's your accountability to yourself. Because the plan means nothing unless you're ready to follow through and work it. And that means even on those days, you know, when you want to quit, you have to keep going. So if you're ready to run the marathon, that I'm ready to run the marathon with you. I am your coach. This is your community. You have the course. If there's anything in the course that needs to be defined or, or whatever, you have to ask. But whatever you do, and even on your worst days, don't stop believing in yourself. And even sometimes when you just need to just shut it down or whine, because you're human, put a time on it. I'm going to take two hours and I'm going to whine. Or today is my day. I'm just going to throw caution to the wind. But when you wake up the next morning, you got to be on point. You have to be on point. And one of the things I'll share eventually, too, is some of the emotions that you will experience as you go through this journey. But number one, know that you're not alone. We're your fans. Sitting on the sideline as you're running the marathon. We're here to cheer you on. We're here to prop you up. We're here to make you get, to help you get to the other side. So you have all the tools you need. It begins with believing in yourself and knowing that you can do it. You have a plan. 
will develop strategies and you just have to work the plan. So that's the first, but I want to read something to you really quickly. It says the garden of your mind will produce the life you leave it to grow. The garden of your mind will produce the life you lead it to grow. Everything you allow into your mind will help it or hurt it. You get to determine how you process it. You get to determine what you allow into your mind. Everything you allow into your mind is going to help you along your journey or hurt you. And you get to decide which one. You get to decide what you allow into your mind. Because what is planted in your mind is what's going to grow in your mind. Just remember that. So that may help you to easily turn those negative thoughts off. Because life is a process of evolution. And it's unfortunate, but because the mind is always active, there are going to be those negative thoughts there too. That saboteur sitting there saying, who are you kidding? You cannot, you can't finish this race. Why did you even start it? But you get to determine how you process that. Whether you flip it and say, you know what? You don't know me. And I'm going to do this. So you get to determine how you process what enters your mind. And the more you focus on the positive, the more you recognize these negative thoughts, the stronger you're going to become. So this was the first group coaching. I'm going to look to see if you posted any questions or comments or Quitting is not an option. There you go, Kathy. You're right. Quitting is not an option. And you maintain that attitude in that perspective again and do the work. And, you know, one of the things we'll talk about is milestones and how do you recognize and celebrate milestones, just like that runner I was just talking about. <clears throat> establishing milestones and establishing boundaries and knowing that and celebrating those milestones because that will continue to encourage you and inspire you. So think of yourself as that jogger, that runner. She is going to make it to the finish line. You are going to make it to the finish line. Recognizing that, <clears throat> excuse me, that it may not be easy and that there are challenges, but recognizing that you are committed and most importantly, believe in yourself. You know, and if you have to look in the mirror and say, I am brave and courageous, then start from that. I am brave and courageous. Build yourself up. Because that's going to help you make it to the finish line. So this is it. Our very first one. I hope you were able to take something away from it. As you prepare to embark on this journey, to make changes in your life, think of it as I am running this marathon. And make sure you are prepared to run the marathon. Commit it and work your plan because that will get you to the finish line. And that will help you with the challenges. Because remember, it's not only mental, it's physical too. You know, your surroundings, people, part of that, you know. Sometimes you have to um, really take a look at who's in your life. It's not so much as that, it's about what you share with them. Because you want, you need a, you need a, a positive and supportive um, cheerleading squad, I'll call it. 
Okay. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a great day. Again, this will be in the portal. In case you want to listen to it again, I will be back here the third Saturday of every month at 9 a.m. And if there's anything specifically that you would like to be addressed, just drop me an email. Okay, with that being said, have a wonderful day. I'll see you back here next month. Take care. Run the marathon. Remember, be prepared. Bye.